this day and age, AI can pretty much do anything. It can edit my YouTube videos for me. It can make me look more attractive in a photo. It can even write me a 20 page essay on the Pythagorean theorem in two seconds. But can AI teach me how to play baseball? Today we're gonna find out. You read the title. Today, AI is gonna be teaching us how to play baseball because clearly we don't know how to play. We're both idiots and... We suck. Yeah, we suck. <laughs> So here's the game plan. In our desperation to become half decent ball players, we decided to seek the artificial wisdom of ChatGPT, an AI chatbot that will engage in human conversation and answer some of our wildest questions. Basically, you can just talk to it and it'll give you answers. If you don't have any friends, just go talk to ChatGPT. Troy, do you want to introduce yourself to ChatGPT? Uh, nice to meet you, Chat GPT. Uh, my name is Troy. You probably already know all my other information because you've been <laughs> listening this whole time. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Troy. Actually, I don't have access to any personal information about you unless you share it with me in our conversation. I'm designed to respect user privacy and confidentiality. How can I assist you today? Yeah, sure. I believe you, Chat GPT. <laughs> okay, Chat GPT is too hard to say. <laughs> we don't know how to play baseball. We need some help, desperately. Also, can I call you Chad? Because Chat GPT is too hard to say. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Isaiah and Troy. I'm here to help you with baseball, and sure, you can call me Chad if that's easier for you. Uh -huh. To play baseball, you'll need some essential gear. 1. Baseball bat. Choose a bat that's the right size and weight for you. 2. Baseball. You'll need regulation baseball for the game. It's a small, hard ball usually made of leather and cork. 3. Glove. A baseball glove, also known as a mitt, is crucial for catching and fielding the ball. 4. Baseball cleats. These are special shoes with cleats on the bottom to provide traction on the field. They help prevent slipping while running. After we packed up the car with all the gear, we headed to the baseball field where Chad would hopefully teach us how to go pro overnight. But before we even got there, we had one very important question to ask Chad. What up my boy Chad? <laughs> we need a good baseball song to listen to. What do you recommend? How about listening to Center Field by John Fogerty? Let's go! Center Field. It's a classic baseball song that's sure to get you in the mood for the game. Enjoy your road trip. Oh, 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 ready to play! All right, ladies and gents, we're here at the baseball field, and uh, who brought this guy? <laughs> we got all the things that Chad told us to get. We got the ball, we got the glove, we got the bat. Honestly, Chad has been pretty helpful so far. Chad, we love you. I don't have feelings, but I'm here to help and support you. If there's anything else you need assistance with, feel free to ask. He didn't say I love you back. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. What's the first thing we should learn about baseball? A fundamental aspect of baseball is learning how to hit. To hit a baseball effectively, focus on your stance, grip, and swing. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Your knees should be slightly bent, and your weight should be evenly distributed on both feet. Keep your body relaxed and balanced. Hold the bat with both hands close together on the handle. Your top hand should be above your bottom hand. Find a grip that feels comfortable and allows you to control the bat. Keep your eye on the pitcher's hand as they release the ball. Focus on the ball's trajectory and try to identify the type of pitch. As the pitch approaches, rotate your hips and shoulders while keeping your eye on the ball. Shift your weight from your back foot to your front foot as you swing the bat. Your hands should follow through the hitting zone, and your aim is to make solid contact with the ball. All right, Chad. Now that I'm a master at hitting a baseball, how do I run the bases? Running the bases effectively in baseball involves a combination of speed, technique, and smart decision making. Here's a basic guide to running the bases. When hitting the ball, sprint to first base as quickly as you can. Run through the base, not stopping on it, in case of an overthrow or fielding error by the opposing team. Rounding first base, if the ball is hit to the outfield and you're heading for second base. Round first base in a wide arc this allows you to maintain your speed and be in a better position to advance to second base. 
As you approach second base, watch the outfielder's throw. If the throw is off target or delayed, consider advancing to third base. If the throw is accurate, slide into second base to avoid the tag. If you're rounding third base and heading for home plate, be aware of the catcher's position and the trajectory of the throw. Slide into home plate if there's a chance of a play at the plate. It's crucial to make quick and smart decisions while running the bases. Listen to your base coaches, who can provide guidance on whether to stop, advance, or slide. Okay Chad, how do we pitch a baseball? Pitching in baseball requires skill, technique, and practice. Here's a basic guide to help you get started. Hold the baseball with your index and middle fingers placed close together over the seams. Your thumb should be underneath the ball, and your other two fingers can either rest on the ball or be tucked underneath. Stand on the pitcher's mound with your feet shoulder width apart. Your body should be facing home plate, and your glove side should be pointing toward the batter. <laughs> Maintain a relaxed but focused posture. Develop a smooth wind up and delivery motion. Practice a consistent motion to ensure accuracy and control. As you wind up, your hands should come together in front of your body. As you pitch, your front shoulder should point toward the target. Use your entire body to generate power in your pitch, not just your arm. I think by this point, Chad was getting fed up with all of our antics, but he continued to teach us how to play infield and outfield. Here's a guide to help you play effectively in the infield. Ready position, stay low and be on the balls of your feet, ready to react to the ball. Your knees should be slightly bent, and your weight should be on the inside part of your feet. Keep your glove out in front of you, close to the ground, and your throwing hand ready near your ear. Playing the outfield in baseball requires a combination of speed, agility, anticipation, and a strong throwing arm. Here's a guide to help you play effectively in the outfield. When fielding ground balls, use your glove to scoop the ball up. Keep your eyes on the ball and watch it into your glove. Field the ball out in front of your body to have a quick and accurate throw. Use quick and efficient footwork to move to the correct position. When catching a fly ball, use two hands to secure a catch. Position your body under the ball and keep your eye on it until it's securely in your glove. Good communication and staying mentally sharp are essential for becoming a strong outfielder. I got it. <sighs> Chad, all this baseball is making us hungry and thirsty. What are the best baseball snacks and drinks? When it comes to enjoying snacks and drinks during a baseball game, there are plenty of options to choose from. Here are some popular choices. Popcorn, a classic and easy to eat snack that's perfect for munching during the game. Number two, nachos. Number three, soda, classic sodas like cola or root beer. Number four, make sure you stay hydrated with water and sports drinks like Gatorade. Number five, these nuts. Oops, I mean peanuts. Number six, hot dogs, a baseball classic. And last but not least, Cracker Jacks. Guys, one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Yeah! All right, ladies and gents, we got all this stuff all these snacks best baseball snacks around big shout out to chad just don't mind us while we devour all this stuff <laughs> chad thanks for teaching us how to play baseball i don't think we got better at baseball today but what we did do is we gained a new friend you have a special place in my heart chad I really appreciate your kind words. I'm here to help anytime you need information or assistance. While I may not be able to physically practice with you, I'm always here to provide guidance and support. Feel free to reach out whenever you have questions or just want to chat. Take care, and best of luck with your baseball adventures. Chad was a good friend. Touched my soul. Yeah, I really did. Too bad he's not human. Oh. <laughs> no, dude. What the heck? My dog. My dog got dirty and <laughs> fell on the ground. Dirty dog. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. We love you guys. Go get your merch. See you next time. If you don't know, there's this there's this website called ChatGBT. GPT. <laughs> There's this website slash app called Chat Cheapy. Chat Cheapy. <laughs> so if you live under a rock and you ha. So if you live under a rock and somehow haven't heard yet about Chat GPT. 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 You, you gotta keep it all the times you mess it up. Today we are going to be letting Chat GPT. You got it right. You know, used to get it right. <laughs> Chat GPT. Now I got it wrong. <laughs> All right, I know a good field. Oh. <laughs> I literally just <laughs> ran into a curve.
so let me just whip out chat real fast. <laughs> Bro, why is it it's why is it Cracker, Cracker Jill. Jill? Hey, they gotta be inclusive, you know. What happened to Cracker Jack? Cracker Jack was arrested, actually. Oh, for real? <laughs> Shit. Yeah. They had to replace him. 